Hey guys, Brent here, and welcome back to BrentMailPhotography.com. In today's lesson, we're going to look at how aperture affects depth of field when photographing a fashion shoot. Hey guys, welcome back. And let's have a look at a recent fashion shoot that I did for a clothing line. Uh, I was photographing a model, Joanna. And let's have a look at how the aperture actually affects the depth of field. So I was shooting with the Fujifilm X-T1 and the 56mm f1.2 lens. Just an excellent lens for photographing portraits or models. It's got such a shallow depth of field. f1.2 is amazing. So have a look at this one. This is shot at f1.2. And it's just amazing. The model, Joanna, just jumps out of the background. It's, it's incredible. So let's look at the next image. I shot the next one at f2.8 which is still a pretty shallow depth of field but on a crop sensor camera we start seeing the background is a little bit sharper notice we'll go back to that first one you notice the uh, the leaves in the background here are pretty much blurred and then the next one they're starting to get a little bit sharper so at f2.8 they're a little bit sharper and then the next one f4 when that comes up eventually they're even more sharper now the model's not quite jumping out of the background we'll go to f8 and look at that, the background's in focus and the model's in focus, so it's a lot harder to see her. And then F14, I think, was the uh, the, cl the closed down aperture, the, you know, the smallest hole in the lens that I went to, which pretty much makes everything in focus. So let's run through those again and let's have a look at a close-up of the model and the background. So we'll go to the very first one, which is F1.2. Uh, let me zoom in here. Let's hope... Uh, uh, it uh, there we go let's hope my Lightroom actually keeps up with me all right so have a look at this model Jana's eyes are in focus over here and the background's totally blurred that's at f1.2 so let's go to the next one which is f2.8 and you notice it starts getting a little bit closer the background gets a little bit clearer then we go to f4 and the background's even you know, you can start seeing those leaves really easily. And then at F8, pretty much the background's in focus and the model's in focus. And then F14, everything's in focus, basically. And you start seeing the noise coming over here, too, because I'm shooting at a much higher ISO. Because I've closed down the aperture, that means and my shutter speed has remained the same. It means the ISO has to um, catch up. So that's it guys, uh, that's how aperture affects depth of field. So the, I guess the takeaway from this lesson is, if you're photographing models or portraits, shoot wide open, shoot the, the shallowest, shallowest depth of field that you can. Now there is a point sometimes where the depth of field can be too shallow if you're too close. So let's have a look at a couple other images over here. So we'll run through a couple others and I'll go to the first one over here which is a close-up of Joanna at f1.2. Great. Have a look at this, guys. Let's hope it uh, keeps up. There we go. Eyes in focus, and it's just a beautiful portrait. Let's have a look at what's out of focus here. So her ears are out of focus, and the background's nicely out of focus, but her, her teeth are a little bit out of focus, but her eyes are in focus. So that's the main thing that I want there. So that's f1.2, and I'm a little bit closer. Let's go to f2, which is still a very shallow depth of field uh, when it comes to portraits, you know, but um, I can really see the difference when I look at this image, uh, you know, she's there's more in focus. Her ears are almost in focus. Her teeth are now in focus. So maybe this is a, a better aperture to shoot a close-up portrait. And then let's have a look at F4. Even F4 is good when it comes to close-ups. So there's the difference between doing a long enough shot. So there's F4. Uh, her face is all in focus now as opposed to f1.2 where just her eyes were in focus now have a look at the background too look at f1.2 look at the background how nice and uh, blurred it is and it and she just jumps out of it i mean even her hair over here is is pretty much blurred and her uh, her arm and her ears everything and then when i go to f4 notice the background's starting to get clearer you can see more of her hair now you can see a little bit of her arm there and then at f4 the background's even clearer so Check the difference. It's just amazing what it does, f1.2 as opposed to f4, which isn't much of a 
close down aperture, but it still makes a huge difference. So the takeaway from this is if you're shooting really close ups, close close ups, like just a headshot like this, I'd shoot that at about f2, f2.8. And if you're shooting um, kind of half body shots, shoot it wide open at f1.2. That's it, guys. That's the lesson for today. Uh, thank you, Fujifilm Australia, for loaning me this camera. It's an amazing lens and camera, the Fujifilm X-T1 with a 56mm f1.2 lens. I love that I traveled all over the Philippines just with two lenses, that lens and the 14mm, which is just amazing. And um, if you guys want more model pictures and model edits, Make sure you go to my website, brentmailphotography.com. I've got all these images at uh, a much bigger resolution, so you can zoom right in and check it out and see how the aperture affects depth of field. And also, leave me comments below. If you, want, if you like these videos, uh, please share them and leave me comments so that I can make more for you guys. I really want to hear back from you to find out what you guys want to learn. Is it models? Is it landscapes? Is it commercial photography? Is it the business of photography? Let me know. Just leave comments below this video on my blog. That's it, guys. Awesome. Thanks for uh, sticking around. This is Brent. Have an awesome day.